How important is the Tournament of Roses partnership with the city of Pasadena? And we will start with Alan Shea. Well, I, I think the Tournament of Roses is truly our greatest asset here to make Pasadena what it is. It brings $300 million to our city every year, and it gives us the acknowledgement around the world, certainly in the United States. Uh, my administration will look very favorable to work closely with the Tournament of Roses and ending homelessness. Uh, the tournament works with a lot of nonprofit organizations to facilitate their, their uh, senior citizen facilities, uh, different programs within the community, and they would be a major uh, force to help in homelessness. I say that because in my 12 years as a commissioner for the Northwest, we were able to work with some of the nonprofits to eliminate people on the streets up in the Northwest area. And for those who don't know the Northwest, it's everything west of Lake all the way over to JPL. And from the Maple Street uh, parallel uh, all the way west to the Rose Bowl. All these, this area was a test case to say that it can work if the community and the leadership is there to make those things happen. And I know that we can here in Pasadena. We have our own health department. We have a, a means of which we can make convert structures into housing and transitional facilities. Thank you. Our partnership with the Chairman and Roses is, is a very important one. Um, and it's, it's a long and storied uh, partnership. Um, you know, and it will become all the more important as we look to the future of the Rose Bowl game. Um, many of you might be aware that the Rose Bowl game uh, is, I, I, I will not say, it's particularly after this last Rose Bowl, very successful game. Like we should all applaud for that one um, because it was a great game. But, you know, now that uh, the bowls are being centralized and controlled by the conferences, uh, we need to be uh, protective of the game. Um, you know, and, and I did stand up when the Tournament of Roses said, we're moving the game to Texas. I said, no, this game belongs to the people of Pasadena. Uh, and it does. Now, you know, they interpreted what I said a little bit differently. Um, we ended up uh, in, uh, in litigation, uh, but the city prevailed and we, we got our attorney's fees. But more importantly, I think we prevailed in convincing uh, our partners at the tournament uh, that we need to be in lockstep in protecting the game uh, and I intend to do that. We have a very good relationship with the tournament um, and as we look to see how uh, the bowls are divvied up uh, by the SEC and other conferences, uh, I think you'll find that the tournament and the city uh, are going to pro prioritize keeping the Rose Bowl game on January 1st uh, at 1.30 p.m. I think it's, no, 2.30 p.m. 2 p.m. 2 p.m. Uh, here right here in Pasadena. Thank you.